The Republican Party of California is meeting right now, the first of three days, to pick an endorsement in the race against Governor Gavin Newsom. There are no well-known Republicans running, but the Republican Party chairwoman told our political reporter, Morgan Reiner, that they don't need a candidate with name recognition. They just need one who isn't Gavin Newsom. Morgan, you spoke to analysts about this. Do they agree? No, they said that the recall, which happened less than a year ago, made it very clear that Newsom is safe. They said even if the top voting issues are not necessarily in his favor, they said it won't make a difference. This weekend, the California Republican Party will pick who they want to endorse in each race or choose not to endorse anyone in particular as they did in the recall election. If you're running for governor, if you're running for dog catcher, it's going to be very difficult to run with that D behind your name. The list of 25 people who are running against Newsom is expansive, but political experts and analysts argue no one in particular jumps out like they did in the recall, where you had someone like former San Diego mayor Kevin Faulkner running. He decided to sit this race out. You basically lost the the entire you know re-election re effort, which was only going to happen a year later because you're not gonna be able to raise money or justify when in a higher turnout election, a Republican could do better. The Republican office holder running is Brian Dolly, who represents the most northern part of the state in the California Senate. Doesn't have a lot of money, doesn't have a lot of name ID, and so Governor Newsom should cruise to an easy re-election victory. Patterson said name recognition is not crucial. Each and every one of them, they have recognition on the fact that Gavin Newsom has failed them. Analyst Steve Swan and consultant Mike Madrid say their strategy must be more than that. Attacking the governor is not enough. This is a blue state. Uh, it has been turning blue dramatically since 1994. And uh, it, the Republican Party in California and the National Party to some extent, but certainly in California, has to recognize that this is a blue state and that uh, they have to moderate their views if they want to have any chance of success. Patterson said that they plan on focusing on the big issues that are polling right now, crime, homelessness, and affordability. She says that they're also going to try something new in addition to talking about the issues. They're going to talk about how Democrats have not followed through on them and then offer the solutions Republicans are putting forward. Morgan, it sounds like, uh, according to analysts, that Governor Newsom is probably pretty secure here. But what about those down ticket races, attorney general, congressional seats, and much more? How are those looking for Democrats in the fall? Patterson said she is really excited for those down ticket races. She said when it comes to the congressional seats, there are five seats that they are targeting. And remember that on the national level, Republicans only need to win five seats to take back control of the House. All right, our political reporter Morgan Reiner reporting for us with the latest on the upcoming governor race and more. Thanks, Morgan.